Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I've been on a bit of a sabbatical lately. I just finished up updating my FrameMaker 2015 reference book. That's available now. So now I've got some time to focus on shooting video, both for my online video course that I've got up at training.techcomtools.com and for a video presentation I'm giving at the LavaCon conference in New Orleans at the end of October 2015. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to show you a nifty tool that I found for viewing 3D models uh, interactively using your using an app on your iPhone. And so hopefully you can put that to use. If you're going to LavaCon, this is just one part of the presentation that I'm going to be giving. So if you're going to LavaCon, I would love to see you swing by my presentation. I've got probably 10 or 15 examples of uh, different types of video documentation and technical communication video. And then I've also got the online course. So if you're interested in learning about uh, TechCom and learning about video documentation, love to have you check that out. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey there, it's Matt Sullivan here, and I wanted to show you something really cool that somebody showed me at a presentation recently. What I've got here is a printed card now this is using uh, 3D, or what they call 4D technology, from Daiquiri, D-A-Q-R-I dot com. And uh, this card here, just this regular printed card, turns into something else. I'll show you what the other card it looks like, too. Once you download the app that's got the QR code right here, this thing turns into an interactive illustration. So let me show you what, what that looks like. Now that I've loaded up the application, it's looking to recognize different features. And when I put this thing over the card, you're going to see it already knows that there is a human body or anatomy right here. We can take this thing and we can choose to show the lymphatic system or hide it, show the nervous system or hide it, the muscular right there. We've got all kinds of things going on, gastrointestinal. And if I go to the other side, what I've got is uh, that human heart that I showed you earlier immediately is recognized. It's actually a pumping heart and you can choose to hide or show any of these parts in here all the way through. It becomes a really good learning experience. So it's a great, uh, great example of using 3D technology to take care of your technical documentation or your video documentation needs. And uh, I really think this is a, a neat thing when you've got the models that support it. Hope you enjoyed that.